from 18th of July, a new major version of Proxmox VE is available. It's version 9.0. And uh, before jumping into upgrading your current Proxmox, please note that this version is still listed as a beta version. And beta means that it's not considered a stable release yet. This Proxmox 9 version is still being actively developed and tested. But uh, I installed it on my separate mini PC just to play with it and see what has changed. And on the Proxmox forum you can see some of the most important updates for this new major version of Proxmox virtual environment. First of all, it's a major version because it's built on a new version of Debian. Proxmox 9 is based on Debian 13, which has a code name of Trixie. As I already mentioned, it's still a, still a beta version, so it's not a stable release. It comes with new default Ceph version, but I think the biggest upgrade is number 3 on that list. And I am talking about support for snapshots on thick provisioned LVMs. I have a feeling that there was quite a few people waiting for this update. If you connect over iSCSI or Fiber Channel to a storage area network, there is now a built-in support for snapshots, a feature that was missing in previous versions of Proxmox. And I think it's quite a big deal. But I'm curious uh, to hear your opinion. Let me know in the comments. There are obviously some other improvements, including ZFS 2.3, which is a good news for many users as well, and many more smaller improvements. If you want to download the ISO, you can do it directly from enterprise.proxmox.com website, and the installer is around 1.5 gig in size. The installation process is exactly the same as it was in previous versions, so you can follow my step-by-step -step guide for Proxmox 8 installation, as it's exactly the same process for Proxmox 9. Now this is the old version of Proxmox, 841, and if we run command cat etc os release, we can see it's based on Debian 12, which had code name of bookworm. But if you run the same command on Proxmox 9, we can see it's indeed based on Debian 13, code name Trixie. And the same if you check repositories, you will also notice that they've, that they've changed now. They now point to the Trixie version of Debian, Debian 13. And if you want to create a Linux containers, you might notice that the LXC template for Debian, for Debian 13 isn't available yet, but uh, we can expect uh, it to be added soon, I guess. What I mean in Proxmox 8, you will see that uh, LXC templates for both the current and the previous version of Debian. So in Proxmox 8, because it was based on Debian 12, you will see Debian 12 and Debian 11 LXC templates. For Proxmox 9, for now, we only have Debian 12 available. That shouldn't be a big deal, I mean, if you run some Debian 11 based LXCs, then you can upgrade them to Debian 12 and only then move to Proxmox 9. I mean, there are many ways that it can be achieved, but I wanted to mention that Proxmox 9 still might have some missing features, you know. And I also wanted to mention that Proxmox 9 can be manually installed on top of Debian 13, if you wish to do it this way. Same like we had with Proxmox 8, it could be installed manually on top of Debian 12, yes? So we can do the same here, installing it on top of Debian 13. But if you wish to upgrade from Proxmox 8 to Proxmox 9, then you should check that official page that says upgrade from 8 to 9, because there are many useful tools listed for such upgrade. They can show you if your system is ready for this kind of upgrade, I mean. When it comes to running stuff on Proxmox 9, I can't see any major changes here. I run some containers, some VMs, well, basically they run exactly the same as they would on Proxmox 8. But you will find a less number of templates, yes, for LX LXCs. But except of that, they run perfectly fine. What isn't working yet, though, are the helper scripts, or community scripts, as they are now called. You might notice there is a problem, as the helper script will tell you that this version of Proxmox V is not supported. I'm pretty sure that will be updated, but for the time being you would have to fiddle a bit to get them working on Proxmox 9. That's all I wanted to say today, really. And at this stage be careful with Proxmox 9, because it's a beta version, as I said. But if you have a way to run it on a separate uh, system or a separate rig, I would definitely recommend it. The more people test it, the faster we'll get a solid and stable release built on that new Debian version 13. And uh, anyways, if you want to learn more about Proxmox or Linux or cloud or Python programming, then please remember to join Automation Avenue platform where you will find loads and loads of very useful materials. Thank you for watching, Marek.